Good morning. You may be seated. Welcome to Patrick Henry Community College Workforce Development and Continuing Education HOPE and CPT Workforce Programs Graduation for Fall 2013. You will be officially work welcomed in a few minutes, but I thank you all for being here. And at this time, we will have our invocation by Van Drury. He is a PHCC adjunct faculty, followed by a welcome from Brunel Thomas, Workforce Development Programs Coordinator. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Let us pray, please. Gracious and all wise God, our Father, we thank you for the blessings of this day. We invoke your presence as we assemble here today for this graduation. We are grateful for this great institution of learning, and we thank you and ask your blessings upon all those who have made this day possible. For these graduates, we are grateful for the sweet taste of accomplishment, for the sacrifices made by family, friends, and others. So Lord, bless these graduates. Bless them with a passion for success. Bless them with a sense of responsibility. Bless them with humility. And bless them with a legacy and with wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Good morning. morning. My name is Brunel Thomas, and it is my distinct pleasure to welcome each of you to Patrick Henry Community College. We are so glad that you're here today for this exciting finale for our fall 2013 Workforce Development Program students and completers and graduates as they are today. Today's celebration is a first in some regards for PHCC because we're honoring the hard work and achievements of our graduates who enrolled in one of three short-term workforce development training programs the High Demand Occupational Program for Employment for Customer Service, the High Demand Occupational Program for Employment for Food Service, and newly added, the Certified Production Technician. Today is a first for us at PHCC because we are ecstatic to recognize the accomplishments of 16 graduates. They have persevered, they have fulfilled the program requirements, they have attained the goal of completing their chosen training program. And lastly, today is a first for us at PHCC because we are honored and grateful to have our president, our president, Dr. Angela Godwin with us at our workforce graduation. And you're going to hear from her as our graduates will when she comes to give encouraging words to our honorees a little later on the program. So on behalf of Dr. Godwin, our administration, our staff, faculty, and students, welcome to PHCC. Now to the graduates, let me be one of the first to tell you congratulations. I'm so proud to see each and every one of y'all dressed in your regalia. We applaud your courage because it took courage to take that first step onto our campus. And here you are at the finish line today. So I hope you've already patted yourself on the back. Each of you not only fulfilled the requirements of your training program, but each of you also walk across the stage today with the certifications to add to your portfolio. Many of you earn credentials such as the National Career Readiness Certificate, IC3 certification, Serve Safe certification, and the Manufacturing Skills Standards certification for Certified Production Technician. You've endured testing from day one at your orientation. These industry certifications are symbolic 
of your significant achievements because you've applied yourself and you had generous help and instruction from our very knowledgeable adjuncts who helped prepare you properly in the classroom. To everyone present this morning, I welcome you to this graduation celebration. We praise the hard work of these graduates, the Workforce Development and Continuing Education team at PHCC, the businesses who supported our graduates as internship hosts and hopefully as job placements, and the adjuncts and our partners who collaborate continuously to make our workforce development training a successful learning experience for all of our students. In closing, I want to leave with our honorees, our graduates, a quote from our First Lady, Michelle Obama. And I quote, you may not always have a comfortable life, and you will not always be able to solve all the world's problems at once. But don't ever underestimate the importance you can have because history has shown that courage can be contagious and hope can take on a life of its own. Congratulations. And welcome to y'all. <laughs> Thank you, um, Brunel Thomas, for those words of welcome. I would like to recognize just a couple of people that are here with us today. Julie Brown from the Dam River Regional Collaborative is here with us. Thank you for being here as well. And um, Amanda Witt, who is president of the Martinsville Henry County Chamber of Commerce. Thank you all for joining us. We also have our Vice President of Finance and Administrative Services who will be speaking with us, um, introducing our speaker, uh, Mr. Jack Hanbury. <laughs> it gives me great honor at this point in the program to introduce uh, our HOPE Ambassador for the Fall 2013 class. During our program, we ask our instructors, we talk, we um, collaborate with one another to try to, dis to decide on the student to represent our class for the semester. And this semester, the student chosen um, had very strong work ethic. She contributed a lot to the class, positive attitude, and just all around a good student, if you were to say that, not that the others weren't. But um, we had to make a choice, and it was a little difficult, but we decided that um, Aisha Jones would be our speaker to represent the uh, class of fall 2013. So join me now as Aisha comes to share a few words of um, her experiences in HOPE. She is a food service graduate. Y'all gonna have to bear with me because I'm about to cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm ready. Um, first, I'd like to give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I would like to thank everyone in attendance today, whether you're a friend, a family member, a faculty member, or employer, we thank you for your support. Patrick Henry Community College definition of HOPE is a high demand occupational program for employment. Webster's Dictionary defines HOPE to cherish a desire with anticipation, to desire with expectation of attainment. President Barack Obama may say that HOPE means help care opportunity for everyone. While Domino's may say hope means hot out the oven pizza for everyone. <laughs> but to me, hope is a greater meaning. Hope is going to school for six days a week. Hope is getting homework done in the wee hours of the night after finally getting a cranky two-year-old to sleep. 
Hope means getting that same two-year-old dress fed and off to school before 8.30 without incident. Hope is backing up your car into a parking space and seeing a trail of transmission fluid behind you. Hope kept me awake in class until 8 o'clock at night. Hope is doing the right thing when the right thing isn't the popular thing to do. Hope is pressing forward to be successful when everyone else has given up on you. Hope kept a smile on my face. I'm sorry. Hope kept a smile on my face when inside I was crying. Hope is not giving in to peer pressure and temptation. Thank you. <laughs> One Sunday morning in a small church in Fieldhead, Virginia, a pastor told his congregation, you're either in trouble, just got out of trouble, or headed to trouble if you're living your life without a plan. 12 weeks ago, I made a plan. My plan was to be positive, be helpful, be encouraging. <laughs> and most importantly, to be strong. While others questioned me, mocked me, or even laughed at me, I was unmoved and determined. And I stand before you today confident, successful, and hopeful. To my fellow graduates, good luck. And keep in mind, although you may not be able to move a mountain, if you have hope, you can always climb over it. Congratulations. Is there a dry eye in the house? <laughs> this is why we do the work that we do. And Aisha, um, just good job, honey, good job. <laughs> now to change the tone a little bit, we're gonna hear from one of our business and industry leadership team members. Carl Ratliff has been a partner of ours for many years. He is the human resources training manager with Eastman Chemical Company. Carl, it's your podium. Remember, I said be brief, <laughs> but make yourself at home. Brief as in, brief as in church, or? What, what denomination are you? And this is really not fair. Baptist, we can't stay home. <laughs> yeah, this is really not fair. After, after following Aisha, there's nothing that could, that could be said. Yeah. But first, I do want to congratulate each one of the graduates. Um, job well done. I know you put forth a lot of effort. Aisha, you explained many of the things that, that each one of you have had to go through, the, the triumphs that you've made. So congratulations to each one of you. I'm second on behalf of Eastman. I'd like to thank Patrick Henry Community College for giving us the opportunity to be here and represent Eastman Chemical Company today. I mean, one of the things that, that we want to speak about just briefly um, is some of the things that's going on here that, that we've partnered with Patrick Henry over. Um, the CPT program. You know, we, we're seeing the benefits that, that these students are bringing to organizations. You know, when we look around and, and for the employers that are also in the room, you know, when we're going through and trying to find employees that, that fit in today's technological society, sometimes it's difficult. And the students that we're seeing that are coming through work keys, the students that are coming through the CPT program, um, our interview panel I've talked to in the last few weeks and they've said that the difference they've seen is, is outstanding. And what the, the people that we're seeing coming in that have came through Patrick Henry, the interviews that they've been able to sit through. You know, that's a, that's a true statement of congratulations for you guys. It's a true statement of congratulations for Patrick Henry Community College. So I'm gonna be br very brief, but just wanted to thank everybody for, for what you've done at the school, 
for you guys that are graduating. You know, keep your heads up, keep your chin up. Sometimes it's difficult, but it'll be well worth everything that you've gone through. So on behalf of Eastman again, thank you and congratulations. Good morning and congratulations to each of you graduates. I know your family and friends are proud of you. I'm Jack Hanbury, Vice President for Finance and Administration here at Patrick Henry. And it's my honor and privilege to introduce to you our president, Dr. Angela Godwin. You know, here at Patrick Henry, in particular in our workforce development program and the HOPE program, we're all about the students. It's educating students, training students, and equipping them with the skills and tools that they need to become successful in a modern workforce. As an experienced educator, businesswoman, and uh, economic developer, Dr. Godwin knows what it takes to be successful in the workforce. You know, over the years, I've known a lot of people that I was proud to call my friend. I've known a lot of strong business leaders. I've known talented educators. But I've known very few people that I could truly call extraordinary individuals. And Dr. Angelin Godwin is all of the above. So please welcome Dr. Angelin Godwin. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate this. Well, does anybody in this room wonder why we wake up every morning and we're all excited about our work at Patrick Henry Community College? I am so proud of all of you. You just, uh, I've always thought that a little bit of fire in the belly went a long way. And you really are the spark that, that, that absolutely makes our work what it is. Welcome everyone and congratulations uh, to everyone that's here and congratulations families. I know there's a few folks in the room that probably did a little babysitting, <laughs> a little extra cooking, maybe a load of laundry for someone, uh, maybe kept the, the night fires burning so that our graduates could pursue this and I'm sure the graduates at this point in time would like to give a round of applause to their family and friends that made this happened. You know, when you're working on something very important and very stressful, we sometimes don't realize any little bitty thing that someone helps and contributes to that process is very, very valuable. And I know that you appreciate it. Today in Hope is really a springboard for the next opportunity. It's what you've accomplished and what you've done, but it's the next step. And I think that in, in our really our economic strategy for this community and for this region and for this state, that one of the things that's clear to us is that we need the engagement of everybody in our community to take their skills and to look at building on them to address the needs of the workforce. We know that we have jobs in our community that we are not filling today because we're building on a new generation of skills where it's the mind and it's the manner. And I think that one of the things I'm so excited about this workforce program is because it's the real thing. It's about teaching people how to do their job and to do it well and to be adaptive in this economy. You know, when I go out and speak with business and industry, and I know many of my business and industry friends are in this room, they tell me, we want someone to come to work, come to work on time, come to work willing to learn and engage and be a part of the process. And I think that's what every person in this program had to demonstrate, that you are really serious about that. And you know, the sky is truly the limit because you have demonstrated that you have the, the wherewithal to make that happen. Their credentials, uh, everyone in this room, are not only about Patrick Henry Community College, but these are industry 
recognized and industry endorsed so that nationally we have created a, a seal of certification that says we have these skills and we have these competencies and wherever you go from coast to coast our industry base would recognize the value of those. And I have to say to our speaker, Aisha, I want you to know the comments you made and the, and the power and presence in which you made them, I think it makes all of us as a community and as a college, it makes us want to work a little harder. It makes us want to raise a little more money. It makes us maybe want to get our sandwich sign on and walk up down Commonwealth Boulevard and recruit people to Patrick Henry Community College. And I thank you for that, that you had the courage to tell us your story. And the minister that told you about making the plan, I that is very significant. This is part of a, of a greater plan. This is really just the springboard for the next opportunity. One of my favorite business scholars is a gentleman named Peter Drucker. And he must have written four books every, a day for his whole life, and he's like in his 90s. But he made this comment that I try to remember because you're going to have a lot of choices to make after today and figuring out what's the right next part of your plan. Drucker said that people who don't take risks generally make about two big, big mistakes a year. People who do take risks generally make about two big, big mistakes a year. About 12 weeks ago, you guys took a risk. You, could, you took a risk. You did not know what today would really be about. You don't know what tomorrow is going to be like. But you took a risk and you made an investment in yourself. And what you need to know is that when you invested in yourself, you really invested in this, co this community. And I think that's, I so much appreciate the comments that uh, Carl made for Eastman. Eastman has made an investment in our community. I see someone here from RTI. People who've made an investment in this community. And individually, our students and our workforce training students must make an investment in themselves so that our companies can be prosperous and so that they can create more jobs and better jobs. I appreciate that you showed a little grit, a little toughness. Uh, one of my favorite professors from years ago made the comment that grit is the single most, st the strongest predictor of success. Just a little bit of grit that you will do something and stick with it. And then just, I want to give you this quote of Steve Jobs because it's one of my favorite who created Apple, Steve Jobs. Your work is going to fill a great part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. And it's with all matters of the heart, you'll know it when you find it. Many of you have done different kinds of work, and I hope this opens the door to something that you will love. Because this is our life's work. And it is, it, you have to love it to do it. And if you do it, you love it. I see our HOPE graduates today as really our community's hope that our economy is strong, the hope that our family and our friends are going to be healthy, and that our future is very bright. So let me just say we want to hear from you. We want to know what the next chapter in the plan reads. And we want you to know that Patrick Henry Community College is this community's college and has been so for 51 years. And we want to see you here again. And I think I hear see some young patriots running around here. We'll get them signed up uh, right now. We're so proud of you. And Thank you for giving us this vote of confidence to be a part of your bright future. Thank you again.
Good afternoon, everyone. Can you see me over the podium? <laughs> I'm so honored to take part in this ceremony and presenting your certificates today, so we'll just get right to it. If our graduates would please rise. We're going to start with James Church. James earned a gold NCRC and he was so happy to get through the CPT program. He said that that's helped him, he hopes that'll help him gain employment in the production field and he's thankful for everyone who pushed him and looked out for him while he was in the program. <laughs> Michael Davis earned his silver NCRC he went to the job fair at the National Guard Armory and, uh, while the program was in progress and was hired by Drake. He started on September 9th. So he completed this program while he was working full time and he said he, did, he thought that without this class he wouldn't have gotten the, opportunity, the job opportunity that he did. Donald Foley. Donald earned his silver NCRC. He said it was a great uh, program, very interesting, and great for everybody that was involved. He says thanks to Coy Park and Terry Carter for their insight and knowledge, and thanks to his family and friends for being here today. And those were the graduates of our certified production program. Bob, can you come up? We're now going to introduce our food service program graduates. We're starting with Raheem Hayes. Steps right. Raheem earned his bronze NCRC in food service. He wants to become a head chef somewhere. And he would like to thank Teresa and Mitch Walsh for the chance to work there in their restaurant and he's thanking everyone who works in the HOPE program. He said he would also like to thank Cassie and Tommy Weatherford for babysitting and driving him to school. Next, we have Aisha Jones in food service. We've all met Aisha already. Uh, Aisha earned her silver NCRC and IC3 certification. Upon completion of the HOPE program, she wants to work and continue her education to become a nutritionist. The HOPE program taught her to never give up on her dreams, and she said she's so grateful for the opportunity to work with such inspiring individuals. Next we have Carlisa Lowe. She's also food service. Her goal is to become employed and continue her education. She earned her silver NCRC and her IC3 certification. She wanted to thank her family and all the people that believed in her. She's also so grateful as well as thankful. She said she gained much useful information and she never thought she could accomplish this goal. Another thanks to Felisa at Piedmont Community Services, and she said, I'm so glad I got the chance to experience the great things in this program. And to my teachers that told me I can, 
thanks Van Drury and Ms. Prilliman. And last but not least, I want to thank God for never leaving my side and giving me a second chance. Next, we have Stephanie Mullen. <laughs> Stephanie wants to thank Ms. Smart Fulcher for this opportunity, and she wants to give a special thank you to Mrs. Davis, Chef Bob, Jennifer, and Mr. Van Drury, and Shalair Morrison. She wants to thank Roberto from Rania's Restaurant for having her as an intern, and she wanted to thank her Aunt Cassie also for for her guidance and babysitting. <laughs> Next we have LaShonda Murphy. LaShonda says she's grateful for continuing her education. She wants to finish uh, or have a job when she's finished with this program and still continue her education. She wants to be successful and she's so thankful for this opportunity. She'd like to thank her instructors and her internship sponsor, Uptown Suites. Next we have Leanne Tatum. <laughs> Leanne wants to pursue a job in food service. She wanted to say thank you to Ms. Davis and the HOPE program for this opportunity. Mr. Drury, thank you for everything you have taught them and Chef Bob for all the skills that you taught them in food service. To her classmates, she said, we made it. <laughs> She said that she loves each and every one of you and wants to thank you for your support. And a special thanks to her husband and her kids for their support these past three months. Now we're going to move on to our customer service students. Our first student, Turkita Klein, is not with us today, but that's because she's working. She's working at Fanuel. Yay! <laughs> her, training, her training program began Monday, November 18th. She earned a silver in CRC, and she also has the IC3 certification. She interned at Wigs Unlimited. And we would like for Ms. Lisa Jones to come up and accept Turkita's certificate today. Ms. Jones. Graduate is Lily F Lillian Fagans, and she earned her bronze NCRC. She's looking forward to starting work, and she wanted to give thanks to Mr. Drury for being a wonderful instructor, and Mr. Stokes for inspiring all of the students. She interned at Green Living. She said thanks so much for the Hope Program. <laughs> Our next student is Lorinda Gross. Lorinda wants to gain employment in retail or at a call center, 
and she wants to look in the, look at classes online for social service. She wanted to thank everyone in the HOPE program for this opportunity. She's earned her bronze CRC, and she did her internship at ATM Motors. She wanted to say thank you to them as well. She has enjoyed her experience with her fellow classmates. She said you started from the bottom, and now here you are. <laughs> She said to all the employers sitting in the audience, feel free to approach me. <laughs> she would love to be a great asset to your company. Jamie Hunley. <laughs> Jamie wants to find employment and be the best employee possible. She wants to continue her college education and become a veterinarian. I would love to thank Mr. Stokes for believing in each of us in customer service and giving us the inspiration to reach higher goals. And she's available for jobs as soon as possible. <laughs> she interned at Henry County Public Service Authority. <laughs> Jessica Rogers. Jessica wants to pursue a career as an office specialist or a filing clerk and she wants to put her computer skills to work. She, learned, she earned the IC3, IC3 and she interned at Faneuil. <laughs> Danielle Stokes. <laughs> Danielle wants to go back to school and get her certificate in early childhood education while working a part-time job. She would also like to thank Mr. Stokes for helping her better her personality and realize the right way to approach situations. She earned her silver NCRC and IC3, and she interned at Hooker Furniture. And our last customer service graduate is Jessica Whalen. Jessica earned the gold in CRC and has her IC3 certification. After graduating, she wants to find employment to help her husband support their family. She's also planning on completing her associate's degree and then going on to earn her bachelor's degree in human services. She appreciates Mr. Stokes working with her one-on-one -on -one and to potential employers, she said, I am devoted and compassionate and she has a drive to succeed. She said, if you're looking for an employee, you're looking for her. And she wanted to, again, thank everyone, all the instructors and leaders of the program for this opportunity. She said she had really enjoyed this training and had experienced great personal growth. She interned at CAFE. Now Ms. Thomas is going to come up. We have some special presentations that we'd like to make. I guess you probably are wondering some of these names that you heard that the students thanked in their minute and a half of fame as they walked across the stage. I'd like to take the opportunity to have any instructor who's in our, present at our ceremony. If you would stand just so they will know who has touched the lives of these individuals because it's more than the folks who have been on the stage. If you have done CPT, HOPE, <laughs> customer service. These are some of the greatest PHCC adjuncts you ever want to find, but I'm not going to brag on them too much. They are not looking for work. <laughs> also, I want to recognize our business partners. If you have hosted our students on a tour, if you've hosted a student as an intern, if you've hosted a student, hired a student, endorsed our training in any way, would you please stand? You see, it takes a village, and I think the students echoed that in some of their comments. Um, 
So I won't delay the superlatives. Our class voted, and with the exception of the CPT students, the folks who've been together for 12 weeks, Monday through Friday, nine to four, <laughs> every day for the last 12 weeks, and some Saturdays, Aisha is reminding me, they got to know each other a little bit and um, voted on, I think it's six categories. So the first one you already know, Aisha Jones, would you come up as the Hope Ambassador, please? Now please bear in mind, the students voted on their peers. So the next award we call the 360 Award. Now, we all had some growing to do, didn't we? From the day you met us at orientation and looked me in the eye and said, I will be back, Ms. Thomas, on the first day of class, and I told y'all, somebody ain't gonna make it. <laughs> but y'all said, amongst yourselves, that Ms. Carlisa Lowe right, is the 360 Degree Award student. Now I have to tell you a little bit about Carlisa that I know. Miss Prillman spent some time with Carlisa because she was bound and determined she was gonna get her IC3. So Miss Prillman would stay after class, Carlisa would stay after class, they would sometimes be the last two people in the building even on a Friday evening and we have to push them out the door so security could lock up. Carlisa, we are so proud of you. I wonder if that was your mama who said amen. <laughs> now, our recipient of the Class Clown Award is not here, but the students selected Trakita Clyde. <laughs> and for the quietest student, Jessica Rogers. <laughs> Then the next category was most nurturing. You guys said this person gave you inspiration when you might not have been feeling like coming, may have checked you and told you you better be here on time because we got a test. Jessica Whalen. And then the last category is most outspoken. I heard some old lords. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to uh, draw this out. Miss Lorenda. <laughs> And on behalf of Patrick Henry Community College, we'd like to recognize our business and industry partner today, Carl Ratliff. If you would come up, please. He hosted our CPT students at Eastman on a tour on Wednesday. And not only did they give us the plant tour, he had his leadership team come and answer questions from our students and staff. They fed us, and when you feed us, of course, that always gets more points. But before we left, James is my witness. He said, you know, I don't have a thing that's got PHCC on it. Well, we fixed that. <laughs> Thank you for all Eastman does for us. And Dr. Godwin, we couldn't let you leave without offering you a token. 
We can't thank you enough for all of your support. I have to tell everybody, when we met this lady, when she was going through the selection process, she came by Frith, which wasn't necessarily the practice for each candidate. And she stopped by our department, talked to Kathy and I. She said, what do you ladies do? I haven't met y'all yet since I've been here. And so we told her a little bit about Hope. She has been a supporter of this program as well as our Workforce Development Division. And we don't take that for granted, nor do we take it lightly. So we want to give you a basket of goodies also, not that you probably aren't already decorated with PHCC. And the last couple of awards are chosen by the students about their faculty person who made the most impression upon them while they were in the training program. For the CPT students, I kind of pulled rank, fellas. I hope y'all don't mind. I mean, what you gonna say now? <laughs> but the, every program, if you have uh, some of the parents in the room know what it's like, the nurturing that's required when you birth a child. I don't know anything about that yet, but I know about birthing new programs. You need the glue to hold all the pieces of the puzzle together. And the person who did that for CPT, because it was so new for us, we had to become a testing center authorized by the Manufacturing Skills Standards Council. We also had to train folks to proctor those tests. We had to help our instructors become certified if they needed to take tests. So we want to recognize all of the tremendous effort done by Yvonne Price to help us get this program off the ground. Yvonne. Some people who know me a little bit better know that those are the brains behind my operation. The other secret to my success is the student selected person who had the most influence on their training. And you might have picked up on a recurring theme as the cards were read and they were introduced. Mr. Van Drury. <laughs> We tricked him. We showed him this um, we, a jacket that we got for him, and we said, Van, do you think this is appropriate for a man? Would you wear something like this? And he tried it on for us and everything. So we had it with the embroidery of our college logo and his name. But Van has been with the college for a number of years. We've known each other for about 12 years, and I'm not going to tell all our story because I can smell the food. But time after time after time, our students love Van. He gives it to them straight. Our partners love Van. <laughs> Our employers love Van because he does not cut corners. He has been in supervision. He's been in manufacturing. He's in the classroom continuing to make a difference by sharing that wisdom with our students. And for some, I wouldn't doubt he may be the father figure the male figure that you may not, positive image that you may not have been exposed to. So they did it. We just helped them make it happen. <laughs> Thank you. So Van, while you're here, uh, we thought one other thing that a man probably doesn't get often might be flowers. So that bouquet is for you. And while you're up here, if you'll say the grace and benediction. Again, thank you all for attending. Um, and before Mr. Drury comes for this class, I would like for Mrs. Drury and his daughter to please stand because it's not often that they get to be with us and the class students wanted to meet you all. Our catering today is provided by Chef Bob's um, Martinsville High School dual enrollment class, some of our HOPE students, and also the PHCC Culinary Arts Program. And our dessert is provided by Uptown Sweets. So again, thank you all for coming.
been a very good program, hasn't it? Now it's time for us to eat. So we'll say the benediction and the grace. So please bow. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Now, Father, we thank you again for the blessings of the day. We thank you for the food that has been prepared for the nourishment of our bodies. Bless the hands that prepared it and those that receive it. And we ask that you remember the sick, the poor, and the needy. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.